Will the airplane team have a soft landing at Airtable? Does that CEO have a good golden parachute? Did airplane really have enough runway? All goofy dad jokes aside, the airplane team has announced that they've been acquired by Airtable. Now, many of you in the Airtable community might not be familiar with Airplane because Airplane was a developer platform geared at building internal tools. Sounds right up the alley of Airtable, but was definitely geared at developers and IT resources rather than the no-code play that Airtable has typically made. Now, there's lots of questions around the financials of this because Airplane actually took on a $32 million Series B round just about a year ago. And so this was a pretty quick turnaround to have the company acquired. According to Crunchbase, this marks the third acquisition for Airtable, and we think this signals a further investment into building out interface capabilities. Now, oftentimes, these kind of acquisition events are looked at as acqui-hire events, meaning that they're looking to bring on the resources, the talent from the airplane team, because they've announced that they're actually sunsetting the platform itself. So the real question goes to what is going to exactly happen because of this acquisition. I think a lot of speculation is around these additional resources. We've seen a lot of investment into interfaces. We've seen Airtable declare that they're going after the enterprise segment. And so I think that we're going to see this team working even more on interfaces to be able to go up against other enterprise players in the market, such as Retool. So one of the questions that remains is whether Airtable's no-code approach of letting business users be builders of the app applications, as opposed to the low-code approach of having IT do most of the building, where that play is going to come in. Are we going to see IT resources adopting more no-code approach? Are we going to see an augmentation of no-code and low-code working hand-in-hand -hand together? I think that remains to be seen. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the acquisition in the comments below. There's already a great conversation going on on Hacker News, so we'll link to that article as well.